Now, continuing coverage on the deaths of the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy, the couple found dead inside of their burned home in the Happy Hills neighborhood Wednesday night. A lot of questions remain about exactly what happened. Our Nicolette Schleisman spoke today with Mobile's police chief, Lawrence Batiste. Don't tell me they was up in there. Many questions remain into the deaths of the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Be patient with us. That's all I can ask. Mobile Police Chief Lawrence Batiste confirms that they are investigating this as a homicide, but adds they don't know how the two died just yet. There's evidence that potentially is there, and once we release that scene, we don't get a chance to go back and do a do-over. Family members say the victims are Leela and Tony Lewis. Honeycomb Brazy has posted to Instagram about their deaths, posting today in part, quote, it's expletive how they did my people, but I'll never do nothing to know old people or kids to get back. It just ain't me. The Lewis's family believes there is foul play. They say a neighbor saw a car pull up to the Lewis's home and start shooting. Should the, the evidence point us in the direction that somebody went to that location and shot his parents or his grandparents and set that home on fire. They're cowards. Police are not ruling out that their deaths are related to Honeycomb Brazy. Because of who he is, he's a very high profile individual, uh, certainly uh, in, the, in, the, in the world that he operates in, the rap world, uh, there are going to be people that's going to claim to, to may have done something uh, in this particular case, just for, for street credibility, to, to, to pro promote themselves. Chief Batiste says they're increasing their presence in the case of more potential violence. Started talking about the retaliatory uh, response to uh, what people are seeing on social media. Our goal is to make sure that we have manpower, uh, ready to respond. We're doing everything we can to be proactive. In Mobile, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5. And Batiste says autopsy results should be back on Monday.